What's up YouTube? It's Andrew from Preeminent Designs and today is episode one of my series called Internet Glories. In this series I basically browse around the internet from time to time and I recreate some of the graphical images I find and I show you guys how to do it as well. In this episode I'll be showing you guys how to design this side image I found off of onlineschools.org and as you guys see it's pretty plain, it's pretty simple, it's pretty professional and um, you know it just looks really nice so um, without further ado guys let's just hop right on in to Photoshop and I'll be showing you guys how to redesign it so we're just gonna go to file new and I'm gonna be using a 1280 by 720 HD image and we're just gonna click OK alright so if we're new to Photoshop to unlock this background layer so we can um, kind of customize and mess around with it we're gonna come over here where it says background and uh, on this little lock we're just gonna double click on that and click OK alright so now we want to double click on this and we just want to rename it to background and now after we're done with that we can right click on it and go to blending options and then go down here to the third tick and we can click on gradient overlay and then after we're done doing that we can come over here to the sidebar and just double uh, single click on it and just click on your first preset which is um, uh, this white to really light grayish color so for our white color, we're actually going to keep it pretty white. I'm just going to scroll down here to about maybe, we'll say right about there. If you guys want to use that color, it's called E2, E2, E2 is the number. And we're just going to click OK on that. And we're just going to double click on this. And we're just going to make it a little bit darker. Right about, we'll say right about there. If you want to use that one, it's A2, A2, A2. And we're just going to click OK and click OK again and now we can hide the effects on that by clicking that little tab right there and now is what we want to do is we want to add in this kind of uh, swish right here um, it almost looks like a uh, like the bottom of a Nike swish and uh, to do that we're just going to come over here to our pen tool which is right above our typing tool and all we have to do is just click on the spots where we want it to curve at so I'm going to set my first point right about there and then my second point right about here and then we're gonna play around with this and just until we get kind of a nice looking curve alright I'm gonna set mine right here alright alright I'm actually gonna edit my first point to right about there and my second point I'm gonna make like so alright now we can just tick all around it just like so and then after we're done making uh, this nice curved line right here we're just going to add a new layer by clicking this button right here and we're just going to come on our image and right click and then go to fill path it doesn't really matter what color we use right now because we're going to be messing around with it anyway. So we're just going to click OK. And look at that. It gave me a nice little red color. All right. So now we're going to come over here and double click on this for a minute. And we're just going to click this as our arch. And then we're going to right click on it and go to blending options. And now we're going to go to gradient overlay. And as we see on this image, it kind of looks like it goes from a little dark red to a little bit lighter of a red um, or as it seems so is what I'm going to do is I'm going to single click on this gradient overlay right here I'm going to select the same preset that we set as our background and the white color I'm going to switch to a bit of a dark red right about there and then my light grayish color I'm going to set as a little bit of a lighter red like so now if we mess around with this little dial right here this will determine how much more darker or how much more lighter we have and I'll take mine right about there that looks about right and we're just going to click OK right over here and click OK alright so now that we have this nice little arch we have our background now all we need to do is add in the text now if we look at the text right here it's nothing fancy it's nothing nothing you know really extravagant or anything like that it's just a simple font so if we come over here to our type tool and we just lay down some text 
uh, we can look through our text and just find a nice simple text file like it's using right in here um, I'm not really too sure what font we're gonna be using so bear with me while I find a font uh, I'm gonna be using Khmer UI maybe let's see what that looks like alright that doesn't look too bad so we're gonna be using this and um, you guys can really use whatever quotation uh, this one says design makes me happy I'm just going to put um, I'm just gonna put design makes me happy for this tutorial alright let me make sure that I did that just like they did and actually no that's my fault because I'm so used to doing that they did design makes me happy period <clears throat> so after we have all that sorry I need to clear my throat <clears throat> sorry about that and now is what we're gonna do is after we have um, our text file we're just going to come up here to our selection tool and we're just gonna drag that down to um, a preferred spot I'm gonna put it right about there that looks good alright so now after we have that we're basically almost done all we're gonna do is come over here to design makes me happy and right click on that and come up to blending options and then I'm gonna go to gradient overlay and I'm actually going to set the same gradient overlay that I put on the text so if we just want to make this a little bit simpler on us we can actually right click on the arch go to copy layer style come up here to design makes me happy right click on that and paste layer style so now we have the same gradient um, overlay as we do um, from the arch so guys that's basically it um, it looks pretty similar except uh, we just don't have as drastic of an arch um, and we have a little bit of a wider image just to make sure that it's HD and stuff so guys there it is um, that's episode one of internet glory for you guys if you guys like this series please leave a comment in the comment section below um, you know just saying what you like if you guys dislike it please leave a comment in the comment section below um, and if you feel the need to, you guys can dislike the video as well. But if this did help you out and uh, you learned a couple new things, please thumbs up the video and leave a comment in the comment section below saying what helped you out. And um, yeah, guys, until next time, my name's Andrew, or Preeminent Designs HD, and I make your visions a reality.